Hey everybody, this is Rafi from Zurb. I'm really excited about this one because Toggler is a really cool component. I'm gonna show you how to use it. So this is a component built into Foundation that allows you to do some basic uh, jQuery or, or JavaScript without actually writing any JavaScript. So if you're a designer or developer who wants to make a quick interaction, you definitely can do so using Toggler. Uh, and Toggler also uses Motion UI, which is Foundation's animation library. Now that makes it even cooler. So I'm gonna show you how to use Toggler when you use it, different things like that. Uh, so let's take a look at an example. So I have a component here, which is a button. And the button needs to trigger and open a callout. So I can achieve that without writing any JavaScript. So that's really cool and powerful for, uh, you know, especially if you're not familiar with jQuery or JavaScript, or if you're just quickly trying to prototype something up. So let me show you how that works. So we have our trigger here, which is the button. So we have a button with the class of button. Now that doesn't matter because this could really be anything that we want to trigger it with. Usually if you're doing an interaction on a page though, you'll use the button tag. Okay, so the important thing here is the data attribute that we add on here. So that's data-toggle, and then we're passing in an ID here. So the ID is panel. Okay, so then we have our container that we're showing and hiding. So that's a, right now it's a div with a class of callout. This could be any container that you want, so you don't have to use a callout. The important thing though is the ID. So the ID that you attach to this container needs to match the ID of the thing that you're uh, toggling from. So data dash toggle equals panel. So just make sure those IDs match. It could be any ID that you want, but um, this is the one that we chose for this example. So as long as they match, um, they'll know to be tied together. Uh, then we're going to tell Toggler what class we want to toggle this on. Let me make this a little wider so you can see that. So data-toggler equals, and then we're going to actually pass in the class. So you pass in the, the dot is shown. So that is the class that we're going to be adding to this specific container uh, to, uh, to make the CSS changes that we need. So just to start it off and hide this thing um, by default, you'll see we have some CSS here. So we have our callout. It's initially set to display none. So when we land on this page, we don't actually want the panel to show until the button is clicked. Then we're adding that class is shown using Toggler. So in our CSS, we'll write, um, so when callout has the class of is shown, um, we'll do display block. Okay, so that's the simple CSS that's needed. Uh, to set your component up, but this toggler will actually toggle the classes on and off. So that's the really basic usage for toggler. So the other really cool thing is that toggler works with Motion UI, which is Foundation's animation library. So that means you can actually add animations to your toggling. Um, so if I click this toggle panel, you'll see that it is um, spinning out and then flipping down in. So there is um, some different animations that you can use with Motion UI to create this. Now, these are um, more advanced or more extreme examples of animations, but um, you know, typically a fade in, fade out, or something uh, slide in, slide out would be really nice to do. So let's go ahead and take our existing example and just modify it slightly to achieve that. So we'll hop back over here. Uh, we have our um, panel, it still has the ID. We haven't changed anything else here. Right now we're going to get rid of this is uh, shown and we're just gonna leave it as data-toggler. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to add a data-animate attribute 
So this is using Motion UI. And so now we're gonna pass in an animation. So let's do uh, fade in and fade out. So we could pass in two different animations. One is an uh, animate in and one is an animate out. And you just put a space in between them. Okay, so if I do that, you'll see that now this fades in and out very nicely. Now we don't have to toggle a class anymore because the animation takes care of the opacity and, and the scaling or any other um, type of animation that we're creating. So this is actually not necessary anymore. We do want to still initially hide it. Um, so we'll leave that display none on there. So as you can see, um, really nice fade in transition. Now, if you're looking for um, more different animations, you could find that on our motion UI documentation. So that is github.com slash serb slash motion dash UI. And then we have um, some docs there. So slash docs. So you'll find a ton of different um, animation classes that you can attach in there. Um, and then you just pass those into the data dash animate attribute. So the JavaScript knows what animations to add, what animation classes to add. So we just did fade in, fade out. Let's do uh, slide in left and slide out right. So slide, uh, whoops, slide in right and how about slide out right? Probably should come from the same side. And so if we just add those, you can see that now the animation has changed. Really cool. So already you could do some really powerful interactions without writing any JavaScript, uh, including animations. So think about how much time this saves you. You don't have to go write a keyframe animation. It's all built into foundation super fast right in your HTML. You can also make something closable using the toggler component. Um, so this is uh, some a little different method. You can make any parent uh, container closable um, using foundation's close button and the closable uh, toggler attribute. So let's actually change this example up so we don't need to um, toggle it with a button anymore. We don't need um, to use these toggler attributes anymore. Um, and we don't need to hide this thing anymore. But we want to make it closable. So cool, let's add the most important part, data dash closable. So this could be any container that we want to close. It could be a card um, that we want to be able to X out or cancel. Um, it could be any, any div or container that you um, need to be closable. We'll add this data dash closable attribute. Now I'm just going to copy this close button um, just to make it super easy. And we'll go ahead and add that. So the close button is actually a style in foundation and we cover that in a different video for a close button. Um, but the important thing is data dash close. So this uses the toggler component um, and it looks for a parent that is closable. So the parent that is closable is this um, call out that has the data dash closable attribute on it. Now when I click the X, you'll see that the callout fades away or disappears. Um, so that is how easy it is to set up a closable container with foundation. Now, the other really cool thing is just like we showed you with the main toggler uh, component, you can actually pass in animations to this as well using the motion UI library. So this is really powerful now. So instead of just data dash closable, let's go ahead and um, choose a different animation. Now, the default is to fade out. 
uh, when we hit the X. So if you don't add anything, it's going to use jQuery's um, fade method. But if you want to use a keyframe animation and something unique, then let's do that. So make sure you use a slide, or make sure you use an out animation. So um, this one is only disappearing. So let's do slide out right. And now instead of fading out, it'll slide out to the right. So another really cool thing that you could do with Toggler is to be able to toggle on a focus. So when somebody focuses or clicks into an input, uh, then you can actually toggle a class. So let's go ahead and copy this example and we'll take a look at what it does. Okay, so here I have an input. Uh, so that is right up here, input type text. Uh, it doesn't matter what input type it is. And then this says data dash toggle focus. So this is using toggler, but specifically to detect a focus event. And we're pointing to an ID of form callout. So if we look down below, we have our ID of form callout on this container, which actually is a callout also. But it could be any, um, any container that you create, any div. So um, we started with the class of is hidden. Now is hidden is built into foundation um, along with the hide class. Um, and what those do are um, hide the element off of the page. So hide does display none, is hidden does um, uh, visibility uh, hidden. And so you can use those depending on your needs um, to hide something initially. So this is great for this use case. So we have our ID set up. Uh, this one is, uh, this container is set up to data dash toggler is hidden. So is hidden is the class that's being toggled on and off. Now, since it starts with the class of is hidden already on it, it's visually hidden. But this component, what it can do is it's really smart. It'll detect if the class already exists, it'll remove the class. If the class doesn't exist, it'll add the class. So that saves you a lot of JavaScript. You would have to write an if statement, but you don't have to. So when I click and focus into this input, uh, now this uh, callout is visible. So this is great for like helper text or um, you could even do use it for an alert or anything else um, when somebody focuses into an input. And another thing Toggler can do is also have multiple targets. So this is really powerful also if you want to be able to um, have one button target multiple IDs. So in this case, um, the toggler is set up to toggle the ID of foo, bar, and baz. So you basically, if you want to chain more IDs into um, the trigger for data dash toggle, then you just put a space in between them and you can chain multiple IDs in there. And then it's going to toggle all of them at the same time. So a lot of really powerful things that you could do with Toggler. This allows you to build your own components. If you're a designer that doesn't use um, jQuery or JavaScript or you haven't dug into that yet, um, you know, definitely it is something that you should learn how that works because it's really gonna elevate your game. But you can also use Foundation's Toggler component to quickly prototype these interactions and add animations. That's the really powerful part. It works with Motion UI, and you can add these uh, interesting animations to your interactions. So that's it for uh, this component. We teach all of these components in our Intro to Foundation class. Make sure you check that out if you want the fastest way to learn Foundation. And this is Rafi from the Foundation team signing off.